Sports-related concussions, 3.8 million per year here in America. And now we're learning there's a new two-minute test that can be used on the sidelines to try and diagnose concussions. Is this new test too simple to be true? You've got to diagnose them fast. Let's ask Dr. David Samadhi of the Fox News Medical Aid Team. And, Doc, great to have you here. I was reading in my research, girls, young girls, more susceptible to concussions than boys. That's probably true, <laughs> but, um, well, we don't know why. Probably the girls may have a weaker neck muscle, and upon attack and, and uh, head injury, they may have a, a worse outcome with concussion, or they may be too competitive. But talking about concussion, going back to these tests, these are simple tests, two minutes, that a lot of uh, players can have. They test them before the game and right after the game, and if they're by flashing cards and having them read a bunch of numbers to see if their attention or their vision is intact. And if there's five second delay, that would be the diagnosis of concussion. Uh, it's a simple test. We still have a long way to go to see if this is really accurate and valid. So I wouldn't bank a lot on these tests. Okay, let me ask you about this brain. How's this brain doing? Does well, this brain have a concussion? This is a healthy brain, um, but you know what I want to do is to really explain what concussion look like. You see the front of the brain is right here. This is the back of the brain. During the concussion, when you have injury to the brain, first injury is going to be due to the front. You, the, the cover of the brain has a skull. There's not a lot of space. So first you're going to hit the skull and then it's going to bounce back and then you hit the back of it. So what happens is this frontal lobe, which is personality, behavioral, calculation, and the back of the brain, it's mostly vision. So a lot of times the signs and symptoms of concussions are personality issues, uh, having difficulty with calculation, blurry vision, uh, nausea, vomiting, those kind of things. And those are extremely important for parents to really pay attention to. Part of the problem with concussion is that we have a very difficult time diagnosing it. It's not, you don't have to have a loss of uh, consciousness to know that you have concussion. So that's so really right important. run right to the hospital? Well, look, it depends on the type of concussion. If it's a mild one, you can observe for 24 hours. But if there are any symptoms that will change, if they get worse, if they fall asleep, if they have nausea, vomiting, or any of those, you need to bring them to the emergency room. If it's a severe concussion, absolutely have to go back to the hospital and make sure that you get a CAT scan or MRI of the brain to make sure that there are no bleeding in the brain. And, it's and what's the treatment? Can they treat it then on the spot? Does it just go away on its own? Well, the short-term side effects of it, most of the time, the first concussion heals within two weeks. The most important thing is to make sure that you don't have a secondary trauma syndrome, meaning that if you're not healed completely well and you get back in the game, that's devastating. And one has to be extremely careful about this. So usually two weeks, but in some people it may take longer. The long-term effect of it could be the depression, amnesia, sometimes suicidal you know, reasons, Alzheimer, as a result of developing a lot of plaques and toxic proteins in the brain that can really slow down the brain. And that's really the, the long-term effect of this. I'm so glad you're talking about it because kids are vulnerable. And once you get one, you could, you're susceptible to another. I'm not a doctor, but I read your, your notes. And uh, I'm so glad you're bringing this awareness to parents about concussions, doctor. Great to see you. Thank you so much. We'll see you again next week. Thanks, Amelia. I'll tease and say it's a good one, too. Thank you. <laughs> All right, we look forward to it. Thanks, Doc. One